This is Kapal's Corner Season 5, Episode 6. Episode 6. Take 5. Take 5. 4, 3, 2, 1. Well, welcome back to Kapal's Corner, where the beers are cold and the purples are warmer. Head up to the creek in my truck if you want to hop on in bed to smooth the cooler over. We're on. We're on. Live from like New York. The, I like the orange. Live from Ida. Li- live from Ida, Live Michigan. from Ida. Yeah. It's Friday night. Oh, okay. Hi, and welcome to another exciting episode of Kapal's Corner. I'm your host, Benny Kapal. And I'm Joe Bellino, state rep from the 17th District of Michigan. Pleased to meet you. I told you that was the one thing I said don't do on my show. Please. Right here. I'm from right here. I'm from Michigan right there. Right, do you have anything else you want to throw on? No, that's it. That's it. Sorry about that. Never been on TV like this before. This is pretty back. cool. I never could have oh. did Carson. I wasn't good enough for Carson. All right, Mr. Bellino. Yes, sir. State rep. How do you do this? Joe your, Babe. Call me Joe Babe. Joe Babe. You, is there like a cool... Everybody old... calls me Joe Babe in Lansing. It's Joe okay. Babe. Joe Babe. I don't need a title. Joe Babe. <clears throat> so, Joe Babe. Yes, sir. You are a state representative. Yes, sir. What state? What, what um, number? 17. 17. Not as cool as thirteen, but no, but a good good number. It's a good, good number. Yeah. What does that encompass? What Northeast Monroe County? So I got Berlin Township, Frenchtown Township, Ash, Exeter, London, but no no Ida, and the city of uh, Village of Maybe, no Ida, and Sumter, Flat Rock, and Rockwood of I thought we were Wayne County. Ida I'm right. the last Republican left in Wayne County in the state house or the state senate. The last one. Look at that. I'm the token Republican. <sighs> yeah. Couldn't tell at all. I'm telling you, it's me. A- anyways, uh, thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Um, no matter what side of the rope you're on, I think it's just amazing that you're doing that because I know it's it's not for everybody. Aren't we supposed to be here to make life better for other people? I mean, that's why this show exists. Yes. I mean, that's why I'm here. You see this face? You were thinking, who makes life better for me? What about Joe? Joe, babe? Joe, babe. Yeah, Joe, Joe babe. Bellino, babe. Yeah. Joe, baby, Bellino. So how have you been? I've been I've been wonderful. You're one of my wife's favorite students. She uh, well, you know, I did have a plaque, but I couldn't bring it out during the rest of the class. It was, you know, okay. they didn't want to pick favorites. I understand. It's it perfect. Was a, it was perfect. a parochial Catholic school. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. we try to keep it Christian. Yeah. But anyways, thank you for coming. State repping. So let's talk about that a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, were you nervous? Yeah, yeah, because uh, you don't know anything when you get elected. You, so. Do you know anything now? I know this much. I knew nothing. No, now I know this much. So I'm getting better, babe. You I'm, are really I'm progressing toward the right I mean, state you have of mind. My vote. Thank you. Um, but uh, so we have a, we have a primary coming up. Yes, sir. Are you August. nervous about that? Or is it second time? It's a little bit. No, I never had a primary before, and primaries are a different beast because everybody doesn't uh, vote. Because it's not secondary. It's not the main election. It's so, so sometimes the far right comes out and the far left comes out, and the middle stays home and doesn't vote. So yeah, they're different animals. That's interesting. I yes. never thought of it that yeah, way. Yeah, they're different animals. You would think, but yeah. And now with this years. political climate, you know, there's one names out there. There's a different different animal. So now you got two animals in the shop. What Did do you, you do put now? Joe Babe on the ballot. Joe Babe's on the ballot. No, oh, there you go. There you go. Well, there. You go. Well, it's a, actually Joe Bellino Jr. But we know him as Joe Babe. They yeah. couldn't add the Babe on there. No, no, no. Uh, it's kind of offensive. If you had people. the Babe, well. I know. I said, what about my boy Bruce? He was Babe Bruce. I was going to say, uh, he. did you point? Did I you did. point to the ballot? No, I didn't. I should have. <laughs> I don't know if they'd have known what happened. <laughs> well, it might that be a little bit. That was against the Cubs, but I, you know, it went over the head. Yep. Yes. Yeah. So how long has this show been on? What, three weeks, four weeks? It five just episodes? started. This is the first episode. Well, I think we're doing, doing okay. You're doing good with the place. I, I, think, I like what you're doing with it. Decorations. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Um, yeah. I was thinking, who can I really just bomb? This is like the a first combination of with? vintage and uh, some kind of a junkyard. I'm not really sure. I said, what it who's going to interrupt me this whole show? And I said, who else but who else? Joe Babelino? Happy to be here. So in the big town of Ida, which I love, Ida. You don't rep us though. I know, but I was out here putting those lights up for Christmas night of this year. For those high school kids. Well, there was it was one, a cold day. I will say there was one light that was out. It wasn't twinkling. Is oh. that your light? No, it wasn't my light. But I would have touched it. I would have got it going. I fixed it. I got the don't Gavorka. Worry. A Kapal takes care of okay, it. Don't right. worry about it. Yeah, Kapal, you th- I don't want you taking care of my body. That means I'm dead. <laughs> the hell. All right, can we get back on to the yes, yes. please? Uh, Joe, Joe Babe, the representative. Okay, so okay. this is all about, this whole season has been about where I come from, who I mm-hmm. am. So 
Who you interact with, what's happening in your life. Yes, yes. Okay. Not the best people, but, you know, people that come across, you know. Golly so okay. your, your, your wife taught me. Yes, she did. You know, I know English. She should have been on the ballot. Yeah, she's the better Bellino. I, yeah. The better, and that would be a slogan. Vote for Peggy, the better Bellino. I wasn't going to say it, but yeah. I'm glad you did. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you also had a store. You had a store in Monroe Yeah, County, I had a Broadway Market. Party store. Just Broadway for a couple Market. of years. It was like, what, five 20, years? 20, 22 and a half years. Five, yeah. 28. Um, yeah. 25 or 28? 22 and a half. 22. You didn't even make it to 25. Couldn't well, you know, COVID 28. happened. So yeah. that Likely excuse. Uh, it seems like a lot of people are using the COVID excuse. Yeah. But so, yeah. And you decided, I'm going to go a little bit, swim higher waters, go to Lansing. Take a chance, uh, get on the ballot and run, learn how to do it. So when you lose, you know how to do it the next time you run. That's why I did it the first time, learn how to do it. Right. right. But I won. So. And if it, if, if it doesn't work out, you can always go back to I can do something. Selling, you know, selling booze. Yeah, so rep and booze. Yep. Rep and booze. Yeah. So let's talk about that a little bit. Sure. So you are sober. Sober today, yeah, by the grace of God. And being last month, mental health, all of that, first of all, if, if you or anybody you know is dealing with it, please reach out. There are places, there's people that would love to help. You're not alone. And going back to you, though, that's really cool. And you've been sober now for three decades-ish? 37 plus. Almost four decades. Oh, yeah. One day at a time. It doesn't, doesn't make you old at all. No, no. One day at a time. One day at a time. Yeah. Are they extravagant promises? I think not. I think not. But some days they are, but I'm sure. usually they're not. <laughs> well, with you on the show, I'm, you know. But, but who, who would have guessed somebody like me, born raised at Detroit Beach, uh, drug addict, gets sober, and then one day he's elected, he's one of the leaders of the free world. Well, and it's a I miracle would, story. I would think you'd be a little bit smarter. I would think so, too. But, but normal know, you people are elected. What you want. So. But if you try sometimes... You just might find. <laughs> you just might find. You get what you need. Anywho, so you, you had a shop in Monroe. Yep. You're, you're repping Monroe. Mm -hmm. What else do you do for Monroe? Just rep my people. That's yeah, it? That's represent my people. Yeah, that's all I'm doing now. Yeah. Any words of advice for anybody who would be thinking about going into any leadership start, politics? Start. Do something. Start small. Yeah. City council. School board. Um, commissions. Planning commissions. Uh, board commissions. Do something. And uh, work your way up. That's what we need. We need people involved in the process. More liberal, the better. People involved in the process. <laughs> common sense people. You got common sense I, people. I, I will. Good things I happen. will agree with you on that. Good things I, happen. I, I, yeah. One thing we can agree on is common sense. Yeah. I do. I do agree with that. And, and I pray I get it every day. I pray that you some might days, get it someday. I may get it someday. I'm thinking. <laughs> You're getting close. I'm getting so close. Who's the better Bellino that should have been on there? Uh, yeah, my that's wife. Right, that's right. Peggy, the better um, Bellino. So, store, you have that. You're you're sober. You, I mean, you've given a lot to the community to begin with. Even before you were on the community college board, mm -hmm. I mean, you weren't the starter like my grandfather. No, no, he was a great man. Me, my blood is. I stood on his shoulders. <sighs> yeah, he good was guy. a tall man, so you'd be real. Tall. I'd be real tall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was good to. You know, to work. I just got alumni of the year last year. That's right. I read that somewhere. They must be digging to the bottom of the barrel. Well, they said... They told me I couldn't get it because I'm still involved in politics. They asked me four or five times. Yeah. I had to decline it every year. Yeah. Um, well, you know who got it a couple years ago? You got it after Paul W. Smith. Well, that's, that, those yeah. are tough shoes. Well, it's, it's tough AM shoes. radio, you know. Yeah, well, it's, it's just AM radio. And now yeah. you're on YouTube. YouTube. I'm on YouTube. You're wow. a YouTuber. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to have 42 followers. I'm all right. I hope one of them comes... 42. 42. A number retired by Please all the major league baseball 42, teams. Please be one of the 42, not 41, not 43, but 42. Jackie Perfect. Robinson's number, 42. Yeah. J. Rob. Well, thank you, Joe, for being thank Joe you. Babe, for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you for repping Monroe County and northern Monroe County. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Not Ida, but maybe Northeast. someday you'll grow someday, up. Someday, you never know. you got a primary. You never and, know. And uh, really, thank you for being on. Yeah. Thank you for watching. This has been another exciting episode of Kapal's Corner. I'm Benny. This is Joe Babe, Joe Bellino Babe. Jr., the Joe, Joey Bellino Jr. It's a whole thing. Sitting amongst all this stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. That one went better. That was good. That was good. That's one. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Thank That's a wrap. you. One more. Uh, I got the doctor. Doctor. <laughs>